All right, so we're now recording. Anything you say will not be deleted, so speak at your own discretion. Hello again, welcome to BitHud Raw. This is episode 11. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about 2020 foresight, predictions for the year 2020, gaming-wise, and who knows, maybe anything else. I kind of left it open. So I have my ideas. I kind of left it open and let Dan kind of take it in his own direction. Okay. Uh, I'm Thaddeus. <laughs> I'm Thaddeus. And uh, even though you don't hear him, Dan is here. Yeah, I just gave you like a stare like, oh, you want me to talk now? <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm Dan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here talking to myself, believe it or not. <laughs> could be. Yeah. Could be just a very talented ventriloquist. It's very true. I mean, it could be the whole a whole Fight Club situation. This entire show could be me on my own with an imaginary friend. <laughs> And I've been pretending to be Dan <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think you post some pictures out there. I even mean, like photoshopped it, or I guess got, I guess to, like stalked some uh, Filipino dude and took pictures of. Him no, you saw some guy on a on a blood services fo- poster. <laughs> You're like, that's him. Yeah, it's all CG. Like, I, I used that one picture and everything else has been CG. Yeah. It's to age it up to say what he would look like in another uh, 10 or 14 years. <laughs> 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 All right. So, we uh, just get to the show. No more bullshit this time. No, do you want to talk about strippers again and uh, stripper etiquette and, and escape routes? Or are you, you good this time? Well, no. Just don't wear... Don't be the guy who wears, wears jogging pants to a strip club. Yeah. If you want to do that, you got to class up. Wear dress pants. <laughs> you still get the same feeling, but you don't look like a scumbag. <laughs> Act like I'm afraid to talk about strippers because no, no, uh, no. Erica will listen to this. On our, like, after like a month of dating, she told me, I was like, hey, I'm at the rips with Raj. Yep. She's like, why are you there? I'm like, because Raj just came back from vacation. He wanted to see some tits. <laughs> so there we are. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with this. Yeah. <laughs> no holds barred. Hey. All right. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into our predictions. The way I should do it is I can, I'll have one, you have yours, you'll go on. I kind of format it that I'll start with games and then go to consoles for the very end. Sure. And then we'll see what happens. So my first one's a pretty basic one. It's for Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is coming out this week. And my prediction is either I'll really like it, it'll be a game of the year contender. Or it'll be returned within 30 minutes. And can, I make a, a, can I make a prediction with that? Okay, all right. You're going to return it. Really, eh? Yeah. Okay, why, what's your thought? Because I think you, you had it on Wii U, right? Yeah, I played it for a little bit. Eh. Really, eh? Although I do hear that they uh, have a code so that you can wear Joker's Yeah, code. That, that's on the, ba- on the back of the Japanese cover. They show a picture of it, so. Might make it better. Persona 5 makes everything better. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but what didn't what didn't you like about it? <clears throat> no, it was on the Wii U. <laughs> oh well, it's gone Switch now, and I like playing the Switch. So why would I return it within thirty minutes now? I mean, because it's also on the Switch. <laughs> okay, well you you have a Switch now. I have a Switch Lite. So. A switch Lite. Good sir. You have a Switch Lite, and I see you on it a lot playing it. So. Yes. So, I mean, it's Switch Lite. Yeah, so you can't really say you don't. No, because like, it's on the Switch though. That's a completely different machine. It's a, it's the same machine. It's a different like, it's a different design and it's just different functionality. But it's a, it's the same platform. Yeah, but that's just like saying I have a truck and you have a car. No, it's more like saying I have the Xbox One S or Xbox One. It's just like the same thing. It's a different one. It's like saying I have the streaming Xbox or the disc extra Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I'm okay with that. <laughs> this isn't gonna go anywhere, so we'll go. We'll go to the next one. So we'll, we'll start you're trying with you. to find answers where there are no, no answers. They, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I already know that. <laughs> so let, let's get yours. All right. Persona Five Royal will be the best game of 2020. Of course. <laughs> Everyone who plays it will enjoy it, whereas Final Fantasy Seven. People will play it and pretend to like it. That's like they did with Just Stranding. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I, that's obviously exaggerated. <laughs> also, I'm going to wear that fucking mask <laughs> <laughs> that comes with Persona 5 Royal <laughs> to bed. See, with me, I don't even know. Uh, like, I, I know already 
I'm not going to play Persona 5 The Royal. Like, I'm going to get it probably day one, but I'm probably not going to play it until, like, summertime or something. Because I've got, like, a shitload of stuff coming out between before and after that. Well, like, what else? Cyberpunk? Yeah, Cyberpunk is, like, the 16th. You know what? Actually, I was de- I, I've told you this already. Okay. Not really feeling Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, you mentioned that. I figure if you're going to do Final Fantasy VII, mm-hmm. I might turn my sights on Neo 2. Okay, I'm, I'm getting that too, but yeah. I yeah, know, well, because Neo, well, no, like, focus come out, on it. Okay, yeah. Because Neo 2 comes out the 10 days day. after. Oh, oh, super close, yeah. And I'm like, well, if, I mean, if you want to play that, I'll play Neo 2. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I'll get my ass handed to me. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, again, I I enjoyed Neo a lot more than Sekiro. Hopefully they didn't, like, see it and, like, oh, we got to, like, take from their playbook. Or maybe they were, like, we need to make this more Ninja Gaiden. But I also saw that, I mean, it doesn't look like it because there's a lot more character customization. So, I mean, character customization is the main reason I didn't like Sekiro, or one of the many reasons I didn't like it. So, I think Neo 2 will be, will be fine. I don't know. Like, I don't Unless think it's... only parries. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck that. Only parries! Uh, I didn't know. Then, yeah, it'll go straight in the garbage. All right, so my next prediction is actually, it goes uh, kind of springboards off of yours. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake will be controversially short. So I think it'll... Like, it'll be a 20-hour game. Yeah, it'll be, like, it's not even, yeah, like, most JRPGs are known for their absurd lengths. Persona 5 being uh, 130 hours, Persona Golden, yeah, Persona 5 The Royal. Have they, like, said how long it is? Is it out in Japan yet? Yeah, it's out, it was out in Japan in uh, November. Do they have how long it takes to beat it? I haven't looked. Yeah. Honestly, I don't want to get any spoilers. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've seen ninety. I've seen seventy five percent of the content basically. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Already. Exactly. But yes, the new, the new, the new twists, right? Yeah, they have a new dungeon. They yeah. have more uh, things to do with the catchy. Yeah. Uh, they have more fleshed out reasons on why you should like the characters. Okay. So yeah, um, we'll see. Sometimes it's not that great though. Sometimes it takes it in a wrong turn. Yeah. Although I'm still gonna try and smash that teacher right away. <laughs> Are there any new? I guess the new character is, is a romance option too. I'm assuming. I hope so. Yeah, and then other than she's that, she's a dancer. <laughs> I mean, she's bendy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <tough. laughs> All right, so yeah, like I think it'll be like it can't be. It's gonna be like twenty to forty hours, and usually people playing JRPGs look for a crazy length. But sometimes I don't know. Like again, Dragon Quest Eleven. I beat it yesterday, but that I didn't. So well, I th- what was with the air quotes? You okay. did air quotes. Yes, there. I, I put air quotes up for, for beating it because I beat the game. I beat the final boss and complete the final dungeon, and then you get the credit sequence. But then it says to be continued, and then there's like a post game thing. So now you have to go back and well, spoilers for a two year old. Is that game. the extra content that was added in through Nintendo? I have no idea. I was I, I was shocked. I was like. Oh, fine. Because I mean, like maybe fifty hours in, I was already or forty hours in. I was like, okay, all right, get it on. Like wrap it up, guys, wrap it up. And it went on for like thirty more hours. Oh fuck me. So, but yeah, so I was kind of done. But then they added this, and it's like so you have to go back in time because one of your characters, they, like, there's like, there's like, there's like the, the part right before everyone gets splits up, uh, some crazy thing happens in it, and then like something happens to one of your characters and all that, and the world gets fucked up. So now you have a chance to go to like use like storytelling magic to go back in time and prevent all that bad shit from happening. So with that, the game is just going on and on. I and don't on. think that's in the original game. Okay, I have I have, again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know, but because it, it caught me by surprise. So we'll see. I mean, long, yeah, the point is that it's just like the game's kind of like worn out as welcome. Like I mean, I enjoy the game, and if there's something keeps me coming back, but. At the same rate, I would have been fine with it being over and done with. So I don't mind a JRPG being short, but yeah, if, if it's 20 hours, like Dan said, that's a bit too short. And I kind of feel like people are going to be expecting a lot more of Final Fantasy VII. I can't remember how long the full uh, of the first game was. But the first the... game took me about uh, 80 hours. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, I mean, so it's it can be a big game. Uh, but I think again, twenty short hours. If it is that, there's no confirmation. This is pure speculation. That'd be controversially short, and I feel like it will be controversially short because, I mean, first of all, it's a truncated version of the game. It's only like not even a, not even a half of it, right? It's like it's the first chap- the yeah. first disc. Yeah. So the, the, I mean, take from that what you will. I think well, the first disc is just the Midgard. Yeah. Areas. So it's like one third or something, right? Mm, not even. Yeah. 
So we'll see. I mean, the first they, disc is about fifteen to twenty hours. Yeah, though. and they're pat, they're padding it out. I'm sure they're extending the story, but even with that, I don't think it'll be super long. But I, it'll also it'll also be a lot of cinematics compared well, to. Well, that and I'm sure they're gonna add in. They said all the mini games are gonna still be in there. Okay. I'm sure they're gonna add in more mini games. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just to kind of flesh it out. Yeah. So we're looking at thirty to forty hours, maybe, but still controversially short. Uh, for a GRPG. Okay, yeah. so uh, your next one then. Oh, Bethesda is not going to fuck up Doom Eternal. Okay. Um, I said I thought that that was going to be one, the, but they will fuck up the pre-orders. Because they already have. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. That's not a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> they canceled my fucking pre-order, those yep. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have wanted the helmet mold and all? I just wanted to wear it once, take a photo, and then sell the helmet. <laughs> but I just wanted to play Doom because, you know what? Doom 2016 was fun. Mm-hmm. I didn't get too into it because I played it in, like, 2018. Okay. I had other stuff to play. But yeah. I figured if I got it while it was new yeah. and I had a little time. I want to go back and finish it off. I know I got, like, maybe 10 levels in or something. I, I got stuck with uh, trying to find all the... Uh, <sighs> Bobbleheads. That's that's exactly what happened. Like and I reading started get, the lore. I started getting OCD and then kind of like, think, okay, well, I should go and do all the collectibles and then I started going back to the beginning. I was like, oh, what am I doing? And then it's yeah. kind of like dropped off of it. But I should go, I should do that. We'll see if I get a Doom Eternal. I'm kind of mad at Bethesda in general and they kind of want to not get Why the games. Why are you mad at Bethesda, bro? What Commander Keen. Oh. <laughs> that was like the, the most bullshit thing they ever did. That Commander Keen mobile game. I, wonder if, I don't even know if it ever came out. I kind of feel like they just buried it. Then how do you like Nintendo? Have you seen any of their fucking games? No, but they don't bastardize it though. Like, like I mean, have you yeah. not seen the Mario Kart one? Yeah, but it's still Mar- It still looks like Mario Kart. It's not it, like it doesn't control like Mario Kart. Okay, but it doesn't play like Mario also, Kart. Also, I mean, there've been Mario, but there's there's Mario Kart. It's still prominent. They're always pumping out Mario content. Commander Keen. They hadn't made a Commander Keen game since 1992. And then they made they made a shitty Game Boy Color game, which pissed everybody off. And then they did this, and that's so it's like just it's just like the mistreatment of Commander Keen. It's like if you're gonna bring him back, why why do this thing where he's like it's his his two kids and that you control them with mobile shit? So that kind of pissed me I off. I also wondered why you even do Commander Keen. Yeah, it's like the thing why? is, why it could let itself if they made a new like two D platformer or something with it, or a three D platformer, but like. No, I mean, if done right, they could they could do it. But if they if they yeah, catch but it, I also think you could also just make a new platformer. But I mean, people. The thing is, there's a marketability to taking old ideas in general. Like that's the same thing that applies with the film and TV. Like a lot of kids don't even know what like a lot of things to get the reboot that they're watching, but they'll still watch it. Or the the it gets it off the ground in the pitch meeting if you're taking an old property and you have any spin. It's just like, it's like shorthand, essentially. So I can see why they did it. Yeah, it, but a platformer, I mean, those aren't really mainstream anymore. No, they're kind of coming back, though. What, like what, though? Well, like could, ukulele? That oh, no, not, not that, but Crash Bandicoot did way better than anyone ever expected it yeah, to. Yeah, that's a 3D. The Mario games are, are always doing well. Well, that's Mario, though. And a lot, of, a lot of indie platformers tend to do well. well that's what I'm saying. There's more indie than yeah, well, mainstream. Well, that's a command. I mean, I think Commander Keen would probably, do, would probably fall under that. I mean, though, well, that's why Bethesda I'm like, well, isn't, they can get, they can form it out to a uh, passionate Well, company. that's why I think, like, if anything, you just make it a fucking Fallout platformer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like honestly, you yeah. would you would sell way more well, copies no. than Commander Keen. <laughs> I mean, done right, who knows? I mean, you could always talk. I mean, the thing is, there's crossover, and the Commander Keen series is tied to, to Wolfenstein. You could have the Wolfenstein. Thing. I mean, the whole like the yeah. stories is that BJ Blazkowicz is Commander Keen's grandfather, but yeah. so there are but also, ways. Also, he's also a descendant of Doom Guy. Yeah. So or, or is Commander Keen Doom Guy's dad? Something like it's supposed to be something stupid like that. Yeah. So I mean, they, there are clear ways they could they could do all kinds of things to tie it in. I mean, they don't have, but I don't know. I just think I, like, I think any I think a good mind or a good developer can make anything work. And the fact is, they didn't. They took the laziest approach. You know, this is the group that did Fallout seventy six. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but I, I don't know if it's the same team that did that mobile shit. No, but yeah. it's the people yeah. who it's the, it's the, the people bunch, at the helm who are yeah. like. Which ties back to you why. You know what? We should use our broken ass engine yeah. to make an, M- an MMO with and no NPCs. And this all ties back to why I don't want to do anything with Bethesda anymore. 
or comes right back to it. All right. So um, my number three is Psychonauts 2 will come out to coincide with the Xbox Sex launch. So that's, that's pretty much it. Like, like I, they keep pushing back uh, Psychonauts 2's release. Supposed to, initially, they said 2018, which was unrealistic to begin with because they didn't begin real production until 2017. And then it says it's going to come out the end of 2019, but when they got bought, bought up by Microsoft, it's 2020. So I think it will come up as 2020. Now they don't have... Usually, that will find the kind of burn through their money, but, I mean, they've got Microsoft behind them, and Microsoft is an infinite well of money, so... Yeah, but I don't... See, I don't think they would apply the Microsoft money to this game. Well, they already, they already spent a shitload just buying it back, buying it from um, Starbreeze. Like, they had to buy it from Starbreeze, and then they had... Because it was on FIG... And they had the investing thing. They had paid off all the investors, so the investors got like something crazy. Like I think it was like five hundred on the on each dollar, or something crazy. So yeah, they really spent a lot on it. So I th- I think but, they'll spend them. I mean, they'll spend the amount of money they need to get it out. But it's gonna be cross platform. Yeah, it's still cross platform. So but why would they put it at the at the launch of Xbox? Sex because they need something that will some kind of thing out there. Like they'd have a mascot platformer on there. Yeah, but so that, it would come out. It would come out with it. I don't know because then PS Five is going to launch at the same time. Yeah, and it's a cross-platform but game. You need yeah. So then you're also giving PS Five a game. It's not going to be on PS Five though. They don't have to. They don't have any obligation to put on PS Five. They're obligated to put on PS Four. Yeah, but PS Four is a backwards or PS Five is supposed to be backwards compatible. Yeah, just, but Xbox X is supposed to be a backwards compatible too. Yeah, I'm so just saying if it. But yeah, I mean, but why would you put that out with your launch thing? It's the same reason why why like they had Cyberpunk on the stage with them. If you kind of say if you say you put it forth that it's your thing. I mean, you have the you create the illusion. That is tied to your console if it's not. And plus, they can probably add more. They can do things to kind of boot. To, they can have other features or other things on there. They can get away with. Well, that I could see, yeah. but like, well, I I just think because Psychonauts was announced before Microsoft owned them. Yeah. People aren't tying Psychonauts to Microsoft as much as. No, they're not. But that's what I'm saying. They probably will because it'll be a thing. It is like they're in charge of the marketing. So yeah, they can kind yeah, yeah. of say that it's like this is going to be our title. Even if it's going to be on everything else, they can put it on the forefront. That's going to be like obviously Psychonauts is never going to be a system seller, but it it has a, a a loyal fan base, and doing that will kind of will, will kind of bring a certain chunk of people over. I don't know, but if it's but the, if it's the loyal fan base, they'll already have ordered their copies. Not necessarily. Some people, I mean, mm. some people. Or didn't, they will have. Known- some people missed it too. I mean, I, I, I mean, obviously, I did right away when I saw the the fake. I pre, I pre ordered it, yeah. and I'm probably gonna, I might even buy another copy because I'm only getting a digital copy on PlayStation. So I'm probably gonna buy another copy. But yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I don't like, I, I can see them doing that. I can see them also having certain bonuses or certain kind of like extra features on the Xbox X version. They might say it's the definitive version or something like that. I don't see Xbox doing that. Yeah. They, they haven't really done anything like... Have they, have they not? For, I mean, for, no. certain, for certain games that have been on... The only thing they've done that for was like Call of Duty where they would get stuff earlier okay, than that, that, Call, Call of Duty is a third-party game. Yeah, game. but they... I'm trying to think like... Because like, they haven't released too many games... <clears throat> on other platforms that are at first party other well, than uh, for like Cuphead Cuphead and um Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, they don't have anything exclusive to Xbox. Same with Minecraft. Yeah. No, but I'm so, okay. Minecraft but, but that's okay. So Minecraft do they have any kind of special features or anything that nope. are okay. So if maybe, anything, Nintendo has more features on theirs because they have Mario shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that that they'll do something that, I mean all I'm saying is that even if they don't have the feature, extra features, I'm saying it's going to come out to coincide with it. Usually, if a game's coming out within the first quarter of the year or first half of the year, you would know already. They wouldn't just say, yeah. coming out and then two months later. So because of that, it's probably they're probably going to wait. They're going to stagger. Obviously, like what I mean, Xbox One, it's, their naming is so fucked up. But anyway, Xbox One doesn't have any, um, any exclusives coming out this year, do they? No. They, so well, I they, think they're, they're kind of. It's like they're kind of doing what they tend to do at the end of each generation, which is they kind of start like slowing down the. Well, ex- what exclusives have they had in the last real? Years? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Gears of War, Halo, and Crackdown. Exactly. So about. because of that, they they want to have they, it, It's another way of of kind of like saying uh, like for messaging for the optics of saying, yeah, we're gonna have a with the Xbox X as a fresh start. We have. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting out these kinds of games. So we'll have, a, with 
the launch of it, they'll have a diversity of first-party titles. Even though, again, it's going to be on everything and tying into something we're going to be talking about later, they're not going to really have well, just, any exclusives well, anyway. Yeah, well, we're just talking about now. Yeah, Xbox confirmed no exclusives yeah. for the Series X for the first year yeah. and then speculated the first two years. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's still a way of just like saying... It, it's more of a symbolic thing over anything else. Like it's not going to be their Mario, their Mario or anything, where it's like it comes out right away, or it's not going to be the only thing that comes out with it. No, they're It'll just be, saying Halo is not going to yeah. be exclusive to Xbox yeah. One X or but One Series X. I'm saying Psychonauts Two is going to be one of many, many, one of many launch titles or many, many games that coincide with it. Like obviously, again, not exclusive, but it's going to coincide with the with the launch. Yeah, and that's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, because when you're like, oh, it's going to be the launch time. No, I know. I said, I said, I I literally typed it in, Psychonauts 2 will come out to coincide with Xbox. Okay. It's not to be a launch title. Yeah, but when you were like, oh, yeah, they're going to really rep it. I don't know. No, I mean. Xbox doesn't rep shit. Yeah, no, they'll they'll market (laughs) it for sure. I mean, but yeah, I mean, certain things, I mean, to to be fair, they've. They barely marketed Cuphead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I they did not that. market that I game. Not. I get, I get, I don't pay much attention to marketing, so who knows? But also, I know that like um, Crackdown Three, they, they let let it die. Like they they sent it as like get out of here. And just, yeah, well, it wasn't. Yeah. Anything great? Yeah, Ooh. I mean, but but I mean, they could they had the time and res or the money and resources to just. No, say, they did market the shit out. They had yeah. Terry Crews in it. They had yeah, uh, Seven Eleven cups. They I'm had saying, it at the Game Awards. If they knew the game was gonna be shit. They could have just gone back to the drawing board. Like certain things, they could have. They already spent like eight years on it. Cyberpunk twenty seven is about that long. Yeah, but this is also Microsoft. This is not. That's what I'm saying. But I'm <laughs> saying because I mean the the option was there for them to do that, and they didn't. Yeah. So they just let it die. All right. So your next prediction. Hold up, my thing. Well, this one was kind of tied into my last one. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy seven is going to come out. Everyone's going to say it's the best game on Earth. It's not. Is it the Metacritic co- score is going to be very different from critics okay. to fans. That's a good one. Yeah, I can see I can see that. I'm going to guarantee a 20-point difference. We'll see that because, I mean, when Final Fantasy VII came out originally, people jerked off over it, but I don't know what well, they... No, what I'm saying is the critics are not going to like Final Fantasy VII. Oh. Nick, fans oh. will just celebrate the shit out of it. Interesting, interesting. Because you know why? He's, okay. Critics, they play a lot of games. Yeah. They played probably, you know, Kingdom Hearts. They played Final Fantasy XV. They know the system already. They'll have played this game seven years or 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. They'll play it again. (laughs) (laughs) But this time it just takes longer to do shit. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, And then they'll say, yeah, it's a great game. It looks great, but... uh, Kind of sucks. <laughs> okay. And then the fans will say, I came to tears when I played this game. I gave birth to a remember, child. Remember berries? And named them Cloud Strife. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know. Like, I kind of feel like like they will like it. And I feel like critics, when they can, will try to appease fans. Like, if they know things are going to be popular, like, I feel like... Most critics didn't yeah. like Sekiro, but they, oh, uh, but they, then made it game of the year. Like, crit- so many critics couldn't even fucking beat it. So, uh, a lot. Yeah, like, they, they, they mod. They had to mod well, it to beat it. it. Yeah. But here's my. Here's also my extra extra part. Okay. Final Fantasy VII is keeping in that cross dressing joke. Oh, they and can't. No, they can't. No, they said they're keeping oh, it. Oh, okay. In. All right. And people are gonna lose their fucking shit because they're stupid and they're weak. <laughs> You'll see. I mean, maybe they'll they'll add some woke humor to it or something to kind of make it. Nope. The translator's just gonna go ha ha ha. But then again, I got turned knows? into a girl with a potion. Yeah, who knows? Maybe not because I mean, it doesn't seem to affect things that much. Because Dragon Quest Eleven again, there's Sylvando who's the gay Latino circus performer and he's just the most flamboyant thing and it's like a, a part where he like rounds up a bunch of guys to like be his like gay party troop and then they all start like like first there's regular guys but then he like do, heck, makes them join their party in that part after he gets split up and then they all like like Yoo-hoo! they're all like super flamboyant and limp wristed and then like wearing yeah. pink feathery things so but i don't dragon know. quest 11 is not gonna have the magnifier that final fantasy i don't know dragon quest 11 dragon quest 11 is the most popular or dragon quest is the most popular rpg series in japan like people in take japan. yeah but then so i'm they saying they don't give a fuck yeah, in japan yeah so i mean saying there's <laughs> that but then also i think if it comes but i don't know it, it does well here obviously it's just kind of gaining the kind of traction uh here that other rpgs might have it's not it's not 
it's just kind of just gaining relevance. Oh, so, it's always been kind of relevant. Yeah, but I think but it's, it's kind of like Persona before Persona Three. Yeah. So I mean, I but I didn't hear any like Silvando is the most like. like it's, yeah, but here's the thing again, though. It's like. It's not going to be under the same microscope that Final Fantasy VII we'll remakes. Yeah, right yeah. You come, you come on. You got yeah, to agree there's, to that. There's, there's a lot of build up. Yeah, I mean, you got to agree to. It's people been, didn't say when they showed Dragon Quest XI, I cried at the theater. Yeah, I mean, I have no. I, people said that. <laughs> yeah, there was articles about that <laughs> okay. shit. I didn't catch that, but. <laughs> yeah, well, that maybe. was only when they showed the remaster for the original game. <laughs> okay. Because they thought it was going to be the remake. <laughs> You don't remember this? No, I, I mean I didn't. I didn't. This like, is I, why I hated games media yeah, for so long. I try not to to get caught up in the bubble oh, too much of like of like this thing. No, like, I guess. it's like the same people who like just cry about everything. Like I cry <laughs> using my platform so that you're aware of this game that my roommate that I fuck sometimes is games coming out. No, no, don't 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 get into that. Right, <laughs> don't, you get know, we, don't, don't get into this. You don't get into this. I know enough to know what you're getting at. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I want justice for those fucking planes. <laughs> no, okay, no. Although they did say they accidentally shot a missile that fucking plane. You know. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. How do you accidentally shoot no, a missile? Accident okay. my ass. Yeah. Erica was more mad about more mad about the accidental fucking N- alerts nuclear, yeah. that we got than that's, about the missile. I'm like that's people for you. I was right? like, you yeah. know, she's like, oh, Doug Ford and his fucking. I'm like. You know, Doug Ford doesn't actually check off when the alerts are going. Yeah. He's like, well, he hired them. I'm like, no, she ha- didn't hire them. Well, she has, a, she has a legitimate reason to hate Doug Ford anyway. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm yeah. like it's a fucking alert. <laughs> Mine also doesn't go off because I just want to have to turn my fucking phone on yeah. silent. <laughs> I don't care who you call. Yeah, I only saw it in the morning when I woke up. Yeah. It wake me up. Yeah. But I'm like, a missile hit the fucking plane. And you're just yeah. like, that's huh. so sad. Yeah, I, I, it gets buried under the noise. I'm like... The alerts pissed her off more than the fucking missile. Yeah, I think we're, people are so, we're so desensitized now that like. Well, it's also oh oh they're they're from that space where we can't say that they're no, they did something bad. <laughs> they, they they made an oopsie. <laughs> they made an oopsie with a fucking missile. <laughs> but Doug Ford and your fucking alerts. <laughs> God damn you! You're ruining the country. We're already Canada. <laughs> and this is why we're bit head raw. <laughs> right? Well, I don't know. I just like, man, yeah. oh, the missile was more upsetting Yeah, no, to that's me. definitely. Uh, the that's missile definitely, was really sad. Yeah, that's definitely more, way more fucked up and way mm. more way more consequential than uh, faux pas. Like, mm. people died. Yeah. And, and also, like, it was a fucking missile. Yeah. It wasn't like, hey, we forgot to turn the lights on. Yeah, the like a broken satellite or something. Yeah, it was... Like a malfunction at, at air. We had a plane that crossed yeah. that plane. You yeah, know, no, no. It was, <laughs> yeah, no. It was, yeah. All right. Um, also, where? Barack Obama also did drone strikes on people. Yep. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Are we gonna get fucking nuts or what? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Take out any uh, inquiry you have with Dan. It's so funny because <laughs> I'm not a conservative. Yeah. I'm just like, well, I mean. Everyone's kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like I'm a nihilist. Of, even if, even if, say, like Bernie Sanders, who's the most far left, Bernie would wants, do some fucking drone yeah, strikes. Yeah, like it, it's it's a it's a system that that's already there and can't be dismantled. Like it, it's been it was best um, said by Dwight Eisenhower when he left office. Like he had the whole speech about the industrial military industrial complex. It's its, its own living organism, yeah, and it's, it's only like exponentially increased ever since. So, no matter who which president you elect, you're gonna have to deal with that. Unless I mean, it was uh, AOC, yeah, <laughs> she could put loose her way over. Oh yeah, just oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <Shit. laughs> Might need her here to get you under control. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I, 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 come on. <laughs> Come on. Are you gonna share your uh your secret gallery of your, your the pictures you guys took together yet? Oh. <laughs> that was just between me and Allie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh what's my next one? Okay, so the my next is I'll skip The Last of Us Two. But players will admire the story for greedy violence, but complain about the length and open world. So I kind of feel like this one might be a thing where it'll probably be 
uh, 7.5 average by players, but like critics will give it 10s across the board. I don't think so. I okay. think everyone's going to give it 10s, even okay. though it should be only an 8.5. Okay. Like that is my thing. Yeah, I will. I will correctly judge how good this game is. Okay, but I guarantee critics oh, and yeah. fans will make this game a, a nine or a ten. Oh, yeah, and then they will also, like a cult, <laughs> burn anyone who says otherwise. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think that the uh, whole side mission, open world shit is unnecessary. Yeah, and in fact quite distracting from the game and i feel like it'll be a game that plays itself a lot in certain ways or is kind of like too detailed to be uh not fun but to really be immersive uh i don't know the first one was did not really play itself for you no i'm saying this one will because it's so it's like 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 if you look at it, it's like watching a movie, and I feel like because well, of that, they really mostly just show movie parts. Yeah, but I mean, even, <laughs> even gameplay, like the gameplay looks like it's just like cinematic, almost like when they're fighting guys, and then like they the way the deaths play out, it's like they're pre they're like pre me, like it's like you're eviscerating guys and things like that. Like it's kind of a thing where it's like it's you're not that much in control of it. So I feel like a lot of it will be that that way. It will be kind of like a look at me game as opposed to. Be more about story and visuals as opposed to the actual gameplay. I don't know. It's more experience than than fun and immersion. Also, the story is not going to be good as, as good as the first one because they just should never have done a second. Yeah, probably not. But I mean, or they should have done a second, but not dealing with Joel and Ellie. Yeah, and yeah. you only cross paths with Joel and Ellie. Yeah, the, 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 I, like, I like sequels that do that more than just having to always stick to the same characters. They should have been playing as the Fireflies, trying to gain relevance again after being having all of their heads murdered by yeah. Joel. Yeah, And you're trying to kill Joel. Yeah. Something is, yeah, I mean, something interesting, but I know people <laughs> want to see, people want to see the, their main characters, so. Or you're the president of the fucking United States, and you're trying to get everything back together, but you have to deal with the terrorist Fireflies and... You know, yeah, that'd yeah. be interesting. Something some, some kind of new direction, and maybe they'll do that for other sequels or be, be spinoffs. Like I know Naughty oh, dear Dog. God, I hope there's none. Yeah. I don't want. There will I be. didn't want the second one. There will be. I mean, if it if it does well, and I'm sure it will, then there'll be more. Like that's just the nature of business. Although Naughty Dog is generally good for kind of leaving series after a while. Like no, they're not. Jack. I mean, they after Jack three. Well, they did the, the racing game, but they haven't touched the Jack series ever again. Uncharted four. We'll see. I mean, I don't think Uncharted four needed to exist to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but I mean, it's it, it wrapped up the series, and I don't think they're gonna they want to go back to it again. I don't think they're planning going back to it. They shouldn't go back to it. No, they're not planning to. So. Uh, but uh, Uncharted's gonna be handed over to another studio. Oh, well, that's, uh, I hate when they do that too. That's, I mean, look what happened to Crash Bandicoot. All right, so. I guess I gave mine. Did you, you didn't? Really, I gave mine. You kind of, I guess, piggyback off that. Do you have a, a prediction? Another prediction? Yeah. Um, did I already talk about Cyberpunk? No, not yet. But All I'll right. join you on the, with that if you do. That's my next one. People are gonna play Cyberpunk, and they're gonna love it. Okay. Then they're gonna say, "Where is our Netflix series about Cyberpunk?" Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I mean, I, I'm sure it'll eventually happen. It took, even though The Witcher is based off of. Not, I don't want a cyberpunk Netflix series. Yeah. Well, I mean, they already have that uh, altered carbon series, which kind of fills that anyway. And I don't know. Did you watch The Witcher TV series by the way? No. Yeah. It's. No. I don't know. Like it's not my. You know kind how of, much TV I watch. Yeah, but in general, I mean, sometimes you watch things. You watch Castlevania, so sometimes you'll watch things. But I guess you don't have much it's of a an investment. And yeah, you're not you. You didn't play the Witcher games, right? No, I did not. So, well, no, that. I played two. Okay, it was fucked up. Yeah, I didn't mind it, but yeah. So I mean, for the Witcher TV series, it's just not my kind of thing personally. It's like, I actually really like Henry Cavill, and also the fact that I know he's used a sword yeah. before. You could tell in some of the cl- yeah. trailers that that guy he's been playing with a sword yeah. at home. <laughs> and I will say, I mean, I know people might be told it'll click someone, but I think. The actress who plays Yennefer looks like uh, Kelsey. Oh, yeah. Kelsey does look like yeah. Yennefer. Yeah. Also, I thought you were going to talk about how me and Henry Cavill look like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ringer. Just put on a white wig. And I just have know. a better hairline. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> and you got, you, got, you got the, like, just throw gigantic some, pecs and everything, too. Throw yeah. some flour at my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so my Cyberpunk 2077 prediction is that it'll move insane amounts of units and it will get an immediate re-release on next-gen consoles. So that's like it's the thing where it's like they're oh, like a game of the year edition. Yeah, it'll be it'll be right away. I mean, it's, it's definitely. I feel like it's such an, a big ambitious game. Like it's we're gonna be pushing current gaming hardware to its limits. So they're gonna definitely put it out there to have like a more definitive edition which, which can perform a lot better on ps5 and xbox sex and everything else also another prediction it's gonna run like shit on the og ps4 yep it's going to it's, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna struggle but people and will on original will, xbox yeah version. people will, will still play it anyway but oh i mean yeah. i played through star wars and that thing yeah. was <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> yeah i mean you should get control all right so i guess we kind of like had the same one i'll let you go do with your next one no, uh, that's all I got. What's... Okay, so yeah, we'll... Make some predictions, I'll jump on some with you. Okay, so next is Ghost of Tsushima, or Tsushima, uh, will be throttled to push the PlayStation 5 sales. So kind of same thing I was saying again, like they'll kind of like not have the most... Su- it'll be kind of a substandard version of PlayStation 4, and then they'll have it on PlayStation 5. It'll become out almost simultaneous, but they'll push it. They'll push the release date back even further to PlayStation 5 release, and it'll come out simultaneously, and it's going to be kind of shit on PS4 and kind of be a thing that kind of makes, drives people to want to get PS5. I disagree, good okay. sir. All right. I think Ghost of Tsushima is actually going to be like what The Last of Us was for the PS3. Well, I mean, Last of Us 2 is kind of what PS Last of Us We don't know that. <laughs> we well, don't know that yet. Okay. Because <laughs> honestly, the open world thing with uh, like, and also the fact that it's a sequel is always muddy. Okay. Um, I think that Ghost of Tsushima is going to be sort of like what The Last of Us was for PS3, where it was like sort of the, hey, this is as best as we can get the console to do. And here's all everything you've ever wanted. We should never do this again. And it'll come out in summer, right before the launch of PS5 in see, yeah. November. In November. Yeah. Because also, Sony, they're not ones to shy away from... Even putting games on old hardware. I mean, God of War 2 came out on PS2. Yeah. When PS3 was already out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, they'll they'll give it to PS4 crowds. I don't think they'll push it back anymore because the game was finished, like, in January. Yeah. I don't think they can push it back anymore. Yeah, just to be like, well, I didn't even realize. It was, I didn't realize it was well, they had to push their release date back because no, of because Last of, of Us. Okay. So, yeah, then, then it probably won't. Then. I didn't realize it was actually finished. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's already gold. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Um, or if, if not, they're just touching it up. But I think it'll be really good. I think also a lot of critics are gonna hate it. Really? I, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm. I don't know what I'll feel about it. Like it's <sighs> like none of the trailers have really done anything for me. I I just know I feel like I'm obligated to play it, but there's actually been nothing out there. Regarding Ghost of Tsushima, that's actually made me say, "Oh, holy shit! I want to play this game." Like a weird Asian faces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind. Of, it's just. I don't know. They what don't it. look right. Yeah, there's something odd about it. Is there something odd? About, I guess it is the whole idea that it's Western people making Asian like a game, an Asian centric game. I don't know. Something. Something's off about it. It's like I uh, don't mind them doing it. It's just something. There's just something that just doesn't feel. Authentic. I'm not to sound like a hipster or anything, but it's something that doesn't Ooh. doesn't quite work. I don't know. This sounds really off. It doesn't seem authentic. I don't know. I mean, I'm good with like from software guess, doing it, medieval shit. Yeah, but the, that's because I mean, they're not they're not going for realism though. No, that's why. Yeah, this is going for realism. Well, that's Western developers though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm. Be ready to agree that I'm going to be the one who who uh, takes bites the bullet or takes the shot on that one. I'll, uh, I'll get it first. And I then... might actually just buy it. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, have a feeling that I'm going to have a drought by then. Yeah, because everything's coming out like within the next. Like, two. if anything, we should have done the March Madness. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> should have broke that one yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's going to be intense. Like, it's it's going to be like I'm getting like. A thousand, like like nearly twelve hundred dollars worth of games between From February to April. Yeah, this yeah. is like ish. We'll see. I didn't get the Cyberpunk uh, collector's edition. edition. Yeah, I mean that that's one third of it right there. Oh, fuck that. Man. But yeah. Well, half of it is Cyberpunk and Persona Five. Yeah, Persona Five too. Which yeah. I question why you bought Persona Five. Well, you know you like the game. I like the game. 
Did you? I, I thought you were dying by the end. No, I mean, it's because I did that. I mean, so then the you Dragon want, Quest. Now you want the beefier version. Yeah, no, I, I love Persona 5. I told you I did. I never had anything no, against it. But just, I, was like, I just found it funny that, like, by the end you were dying. Yeah. So it, now you want the longer version. No, I mean, I can, well, I, I don't mind. It's just because it's it's just a standard thing with JRPGs. Like, Although I, mean, I guess I, that since you've already seen the end, you don't have to play it to the end. Yeah, no, I will. I still will. Like, the thing is, it's because it does that. It doesn't mean I just like it. Like, it's like Persona 5, that would probably would have been the game of the year for me if we did it uh, 2017. 2017. It would have been up there. Like, I, I highly enjoyed the game. I, like, I enjoy, like, it was just, again, way too long. It, it wore out its welcome, for sure. Like, oh, it, was, it really? It was like, I am not going to deny yeah, that. Yeah, so it's it 40 hours too long, so it took a lot out of me to get through it, but I still, I'll be, but the fact that I got through it says something, because if I didn't want want to play, I guess it would have stopped. Also, I got to play on Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, see, it's Okay. Oh, we we didn't, we didn't get back to it, but yeah, you didn't until last year. We we you honored your pledge of uh, two or three things. Yeah. I got engaged, uh-huh. and I watched. I got the hookup too. <laughs> so all is forgiven. I, I, I no longer. No, see, I always planned to watch it because yeah. I was like, when I actually found out that you actually watched it, you were kind of cheesed. Yeah, I was like, okay, I will watch. And that's why I looked up like. Okay, it's like two bucks to rent. Yeah. It's, not, it's not gonna hurt me. Yeah. And I'm always up doing stupid things anyways. Exactly. But then I was like, I'm gonna push this to like the last day of the year. <laughs> so you did those two, but you didn't platinum the original persona. So no. you're telling me you're still gonna have to platinum this and then you're gonna write to the Persona 5 Royal, which would take you like three hundred dollars. I actually to think I might platinum Persona 5 Royal. Okay. I just leave Persona 5. Which is what I said to do in the first place. Like, yeah, but I feel like I should get both. Huh? It's, it's redundant. It it's, is redundant. Hey, okay. Your call. I mean, again, I, I, if I were you, I'd do that. I have no, I know that I am not platinum it, and I, 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 when I get it, I'm gonna, I'll probably have the game, and I'll probably not play it until summertime. Till the drought? Yeah, because I got a lot going on, and I'll probably, um... Who knows? Maybe they'll announce a Switch version. I'll be on that. It'll be probably better for me to play it that that way too. Well, buy your Switch Pro then to run it properly. Yeah, if if that happens. Uh, so, oh, yeah. the Switch Pro! <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid idea. <laughs> okay, so next up uh, <laughs> is um, we'll get Knack Three as a PS5 launch title. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm so. Just, that's a bullshit. Well, We're I gonna get the order 1887. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I would yeah. actually be interested in one. It, again, it's a good tech demo. It's just the the game play. The it, actually, the game was sports. See, that's that's how I feel about the Last of Us Two. I feel like it, it, it's gonna be like that. Like order 1880 or whatever year it was. It was kind of like more on the technical side. It was like very. It was visually like pleasing, but there's like it didn't feel like much of a game. And I kind of feel like. It didn't like there was. It didn't feel like you're that in, like interactive in it, and I kind of feel like that's what uh, uh, Last of Us Two will be like. But yeah, so uh, next Last of Us though was never a technical game. No, I mean there, there's that's why of, if anything's gonna be the technical yeah. game, that's gonna be the Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I mean, the, but they, they tried. They had a bunch of gameplay elements to it. I didn't care for the gameplay elements, but and had it in there. Yeah, I heard, well, next up is Godfall will be the next anthem, and developers will subsequently take a break to reassess games as a service. I think Godfall was going to do nothing. That's what I'm saying. It'll be the next anthem. Well, like, I don't think anyone's going to pay attention to Godfall. The only reason mm-hmm. they're giving Godfall any attention is because it was the first shot. Yeah. It was the first bullet out of there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And that's it. So like, I think it's just going to come and go. It's not going to be anything. Maybe, yeah, maybe Anthem is a bit too much because Anthem was like a colossal failure. It's supposed to be a failure. Anthem was a thing. Yeah. And then it was a fart. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah, the Godfall just be like. Godfall is just a fart in the wind. Yeah, pretty much. They'll be here today, gone tomorrow. We should probably not even like, or even remember that it was announced at the Game Awards. It'll, right. it'll be the smuggler's run. <laughs> But I think because of that, they will they, they'll they'll start slowing down on the whole games as a service trend. I don't think it's they'll like, ever stop. It's but it's like maybe like one, like two out of like two hundred have actually gone anywhere. Yeah, but it's like with anything, they need like a five year cycle. It took five years for games as a service to become big. Yeah, it's gonna take another five years for them to die. Yeah, hopefully, we'll see. I mean, mm-hmm. at, at the very least, it'll start making them reassess. It'll be like there might be some others in development, but after that, if there are people are like trying to greenlight ones, people are like hey, hang on, let's see where they go before they do more. Yeah, the only ones that should stick around are like Destiny. Yeah. Does Borderlands um, count? No. Yeah, I don't think so. 
No, Borderlands is just a looter shooter. Yeah, pretty much. Because Games as a Service is like an online only. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Massive multiplayer. Yeah, like Warframe and type, that type, yeah. Warframe's not bad. It's, it's fucking it's confusing as shit. But. Yeah, I just never, I never played it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I played it. I was like... Actually, no, I did play it, but not, not very much. I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. I was like trying to build a frame. <laughs> and so I needed all these parts. I was like... The shit? <laughs> I'm a robot ninja? You're telling me to go look for parts by running around and shooting people? Yeah, I didn't know what's going on. I that. was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next up is Google will send the Stadia out to die. And it'll kind of dis- like disappear like Google Wave, Google Video, Google Plus. It'll kind of just... I don't think that's going to happen okay. this year. I think it's going to happen in two years. Why two years? Because Google Plus was around for three years. Oh yeah, I guess the Google Wave went quickly though. So he knows. Yeah, but that was a that was a dead from start. Yeah, I didn't even idea. know what the fuck Google Wave is. Google Plus, they were like, okay, no one likes Google Plus after the one year. They're like, I got it. We gotta make everyone with YouTube use it. <laughs> yeah, because I almost forgot about they that. They probably yeah. they put in a lot of money into yeah. Google Stadia. They're gonna they're probably gonna still have it like keep it on the back yeah. burner, but they're gonna let it slowly eke its way out. Yeah. Because they have some people already buying it just because it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, speaking of which, would you want this? Why? why? Birth, as like a birthday gift? I already have a Oh, you already do? Okay, I didn't know. What's the... I got it why for Why do free. they call it a Nest Mini now? I don't know. I don't know. So I got it because I got it for free from Google. I have like a Google Premium account. Oh, cool. So like this, I sign and say, hey, want, want a free Google Nest? And it's like, yeah, sure, even if I don't use it. Why remember. wouldn't you use it? I don't know. I guess uh, I don't. I don't know if I have a use for it. I can figure out what to do with it. But dude, you put it here. You're like, hey Google, what's uh, 17 times 24? You know, or you're like, yeah. hey Google, what's the weather outside? Hey Google, <laughs> what time is the next train coming? <laughs> yeah, hey, Google, maybe we'll see. Play that song by I don't know Sean Mendez. Okay. Why did I say Sean? I Mendes? don't know. <laughs> Probably because it's a song that I would never own on my phone. Yeah, no, but... I wouldn't either. I, no, I just I, wanted to prove that there's a Sean Mendes. There's a Sean Mendes. I don't even know who the Sean Mendes is, but he is Canadian. Okay, he was in a Tim Hortons commercial. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> More than I would have ever known, but yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> All right, so hey Google, is Nick Cannon funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> is that thing still going on? By the way, that controversy or the rap battle thing? No, no, it's uh. 50 Cent ripping on some guy for buying a used Bugatti. <laughs> 50 Cent needs to w- watch who he rips on. I remember he got in shit for like ripping on an autistic kid at the airport or something. <laughs> Dude, did you ever see that tweet of his where he's like talking about like how his grandma's making him take out the garbage? <laughs> he's like so pissed. <laughs> He's a funny guy, man. He's funny. I yeah. think he's hilarious. Yeah, I think he's funny. I don't know if he like means to, but he's, he's pretty funny. I think he's just a shit disturber. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My next is the PS5 will outsell the Xbox Sex, but it'll be a slow start compared to the PS4. Like it's not. It's gonna. It's not gonna be the blowout. No, definitely not. Like 2014, 2013, 2014. 20, yeah, I think 2014 or 2014 or late 2013. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was 2013 because yeah, I got mine in 2015. It was already out for a bit. All right. Tell you, I got mine in like 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I was still I thought you were the guy who always gets the first. Uh... No, that's Roger. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rajesh, you mean? Whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, next up. Okay, let's see what this 50 cent thing is. I can't believe my grandmother's making me take out the garbage. I'm fucking. I'm... <laughs> I'm rich. Fuck this. I'm going home. I don't need this shit. <laughs> that's the, that's fucking great, right? <laughs> I can't believe my grandmother's making me take out the garbage. I'm rich. Fuck this. I'm going home. I don't need this shit. <laughs> All right. My next and final one is that the Xbox Sex will do worse than the Xbox, but it won't be a major concern for Xbox or for Microsoft. As they plan on being more of a gaming platform as opposed to selling hardware units. I don't wait, you think Xbox One X is gonna do worse than Xbox One? Yeah. Like in the first year or just in general. Well, I mean they just in general because I think again they don't I mean first off, it, as we've been talking about, they're not gonna have any exclusives, so like why do we need it? I they, think it's the Xbox crowd that's only gonna buy the Xbox One. Also, I think it's a, they've they've got a Wii U issue. 
where they, it kind of seems like, like people can be confused. But people, Wii U, one of the major things is that people thought it was like a Wii uh, peripheral. Yeah. yeah. And it, this it just sounds like that too. It sounds like it's in like a kind of peripheral for the Xbox One and not necessarily, or, or a new, not even a peripheral, or like a new model. That's like how they have the Xbox One. Uh, S or something like that. Well, I guarantee that uh, grandmothers aren't going to buy it because no. of that shit. Yeah. Which, which is the problem because that's like Nintendo's like main buyers are yeah. like parents and the grandmothers. Yep. Um, Xbox, I don't think they're going to suffer as much from the same thing because it'll be adults buying it. Yeah. For themselves. Yeah. Um, I just think that the people who are going to get it are Xbox or Microsoft users. Yeah. You know, Rajesh but, is going to yeah. get one. I know Jordan's probably going to switch. Yeah, he's going to... Do they? Oh, switch over to PS PlayStation Five. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But then uh, <laughs> <laughs> once we once we uh, you know we, we, conduct think, the High Council of yeah. Next Generation yeah. games, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we're going PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely will be. I know I really would. like the Xbox Sex. Doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. Like it's. I don't know. I need to see the V shape of this. Uh, yeah, it's PlayStation for real, yeah. Five. And, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll be like, you know what? Yeah. Maybe Pally was right. Well, Maybe it's time for a gaming PC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Or maybe I just take up reading again. Yeah, there you go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of my reading time gaming, especially when it's like something like Dragon Quest, where I think I can just spend like a couple hours and get and make progress, where it's like it takes five hours just to walk across the, from one like part of the continent to another in the game. Yeah. So like, like doing things like that, it takes up my time from like reading the stuff I I'd read. So, yeah, maybe we'll see. I'll, I'll just it'll be the generation we skip. We we we. We're, uh, gonna, we're gonna change to a uh, yeah a book book, book podcast. podcast. We'll, be, we'll, we'll uh, sit there and we'll be in our cardigans. We'll have our espressos and and reading glasses on our noses. I already have reading glasses. Yeah, <laughs> the ones that hang on your nose. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. pins Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're called. Yeah. That's what they're called, motherfuckers. Get our pipes and you know, sit and. and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we might have to again. We might rebrand after all. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's it for my predictions. Um, and I guess I didn't have to include Nintendo, but I think I don't know if I really believe in this Nintendo Pro, the Switch Pro thing. It is a stupid idea. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It is because here's the thing. Why? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, so you could have more leftover ports from PS4 and Xbox One. Essentially, I mean, why though? It's just, I guarantee no one's buying Assassin's Creed Origins or fucking Vampire I, yeah. on X or on Switch. Yeah, I have no idea. Those are the dads that bought a Switch for their kid and like, <laughs> oh fuck, I want to just play one game that I'll yeah. never touch. <laughs> oh, perfect, Vampires on there, you know? Yeah. No, there's no one's playing those. Yeah, I mean, I know the Switch isn't. There's definitely kind of like struggles with performance, even if it's like some, some of their exclusives, like Link's Awakening, had some uh, performance issues. So maybe they'll want to, I guess, kind of like. Bloodstain had problems. Yeah, so maybe they'll want to do it for that kind of reason. I mean, I'm open to it, but I don't necessarily know how valid the claims are that there is going to be a pro release in the, in the summer. Do you really want to play Witcher 3? Th- on the Switch? Switcher, no, no. I mean, only because it's it's like a game I already beat, and I'm, I'm yeah. Done but with think it about knows, it, like yeah. who's like, oh, we need Cyberpunk on the Switch. No, no one gives no, a fuck. Really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're putting Outer Worlds on the Switch. So, you know. Yeah, that's a mistake. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, <laughs> they delayed its release for quite a bit, so we'll see. I mean, one thing I think Nintendo will do though this year is kind of like a, a blitzkrieg of titles they'll have like breath of the wild 2 and maybe i i fit out they could get prime, a metroid prime 4 out but they might uh release more about it and they'll have a metroid prime collection or something they'll try to put out as many like nintendo first party titles as they can say hey you remember us this is what we can do guys those guys don't do this and that's about that's as much as i think yeah, i'll be like yeah i do that weird shit i'll yeah. let you do that to me yeah pretty much so i think that's what the nintendo will have uh, on its side but other than that nothing else yeah i mean for all the fact that I'm playing the Switch, I'm playing games that I can play on PS4. Yeah. Like I said, the, the Switch exclusives. I mean, the Ubisoft Mario plus <laughs> Rabbids was yeah. like three days that I played it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, it kind of sucks because you only had three players in there. You can yeah. only use three members. Yeah. That was that really sucked. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just picked up Luigi. You mean I can't <laughs> use a fourth person? <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe they unlock it. Who knows? No, they don't. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, right? Yeah. And so that really kind of killed all enthusiasm yeah. for it. 
But like, I don't know, Switch Lite, they should make an even better version where it has touch on the back. Mm, like and the then Vita? you can remote play to a PlayStation 5. So a Vita. Yes. Yeah. I think if you did that, you, you, you'd come in your pants. Like that's, oh that's, all, that's all you need right there. Honestly, if they made a better Vita, if they basically <laughs> say, hey, you use the Switch Lite to remote play from PS4. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I don't hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but really, like, the games that I'm playing, are, like, they're not console exclusives. Generally not. So they're far. also games that I'm like, eh, this doesn't really need a lot of power. <laughs> yeah, so far from what I've seen. I'm playing uh, the... Epic, super epic or super something? Super epic. I'm yeah. a cartoon raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> I here's, the, here's how poorly I think of the Switch. I was like, oh, I should get Castlevania on the Switch. I was yeah. like... I don't think it could handle Symphony of the Night. <laughs> it's not on there. It is. Uh, they have the Castlevania collection. Yeah, right? but that's only the that's up to Super Nintendo. It's like it's no, like, but there's the other collection. There's for Rondo it. Blood and, and Rondo Blood and Symphony of the Night are on PlayStation. Yeah, but don't they have that collection on there too? No, Rondo Blood and Symphony of the Night are a separate collection. I have that on PlayStation. The, which, the, the the one it has like the Sega Genesis one, um, the Nintendo one, Super Nintendo one, and Game Boy one. Oh, is that the fucking collection that's on there? Yeah. Yeah, oh. Sym- Symphony Night's on Symphony Night and Rondo Blood are on a separate two pack, and I don't think it's on Switch. Oh, yeah, even better, yeah. even better Switch. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Oh man. Well, anyway, before this devolves into Dan's, You're so good, Dan's, uh, Dan's full Switch hate, we'll uh, wrap it up and we'll catch you on the next episode. We're gonna probably see if we can squeeze in a normal episode now. Yeah. Oh, uh, just one final thing. The Switch Lite is not the same thing as the Switch. The Switch is a piece of shit. They don't even have a fucking D-pad that joy got a fucking rip out of there. It's a piece of crap. Switch Lite is excellent. So with Actually, that, mediocre. They so, just make the cut. So with that opinion in mind, you think you can jo- judge how serious you take that? <laughs> the Switch Lite is much better than the Switch. Okay. <laughs> just an overall usability. You heard it here first, guys. Catch you later. One down. Is that me? Yeah. That was no, me. that was me. That was both of us. Yeah, it's game jam. So what happens? I have too many PC points. And what's this? What's this in context to? What happens when you have too many PC points and they? You get things. Yeah, on. I mean, they just work. I mean, you they get left over. I'm assuming. Kept things yeah. Out. yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. I was like, I'm not sure what you mean. It's a... I just texted you. I was like, is this a weird flex moment or something? <laughs> yeah, kind of. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was like, like, oh, I got so many PC points. <laughs> is this a weird flex moment? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, my PC points. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they like, oh, Rod, where'd you get that? He's like, points. oh, I ended up with a traveling switch and a nest doorbell. <laughs> so it is a weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that's cool because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the fact that he's like, oh, what do you get when you have too many PC points? <laughs> If he was just said, hey, I just got a Switch Lite and an S-Door, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. The fact that he introduced it like that, no. Yeah. You got, fuck all. Yeah. That's a, that's a flex. <laughs> that's a weird, weird flex, but yeah, uh, the flex. <laughs> the PC points thing was the weird flex. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that left me scratching my head more than anything else. <laughs> Do you get things? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> like, if he was just like, hey.